This video will discuss the symmetry elements of molecules. So the symmetry elements of a given molecule can be defined as the set of points, axes, and or planes through which an object's symmetry operations occur. So we previously discussed in the last video um, the operations, the identity operation, inversion, reflection, proper rotation, and improper rotation. So those operations are all associated with different symmetry elements. So for a given molecule, the identity, um, the operation is to do nothing, and the, and the element is called the identity element. The inversion operation occurs through the symmetry element, the inversion center. The reflection operation occurs through the sigma, the plane of symmetry, symmetry element. The uh, proper rotation operation occurs through an n-fold proper rotation axis. And the improper rotation operation occurs through an n-fold improper rotation axis where again, we'll remind ourselves that the label N here means that the rotation part occurs over a 360 divided by N degree rotation. So C2 is 180 degrees, C3 is 120 degrees, C4 is 90, etc. Okay, so each molecule can be classified by the set of symmetry elements that it has. So every single molecule, regardless of its shape, is always going to have an identity element because the identity is just to do nothing. Leave the molecule unchanged. Some molecules have a higher degree of symmetry than that, and they have more symmetry elements. So instinctively, we think that a molecule like water has more symmetry than a molecule like, I don't know, anything that's very large and doesn't have these elements. We think that, for example, uh, ethene has more symmetry than water, benzene has more symmetry than ethene, but we can really use symmetry elements to quantify this. Okay, so water has four symmetry elements. You have identity, C2, sigma V, and sigma V prime, as we'll uh, indicate over here in a second. Uh, ethylene or ethene, C2H4, has eight symmetry elements. It has E, C2, C2 prime, C2 double prime, I, sigma H, sigma V, and sigma V prime. And benzene, C6H6, has, let's count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 total elements, E, C6, 3C2, 3C2 prime, I, sigma H, 3 sigma V, and 3 sigma D. And those are all somewhat indicated in these types of diagrams here. So the key elements that we should be interested in, we have CN with the max N is what's called our principal axis. So if a molecule only has the identity, then CN would be C1, would be the principal axis. Water, C2 is the principal axis, as I have indicated in green. For uh, ethene, we have C2 is also the principal axis, but there are other C2s which are perpendicular to that. Benzene has a C6 axis, so a C6 is its principal axis. And then the label sigma H versus sigma V involves whether or not it is perpendicular to the principal axis. So in benzene, the C6 is, is uh, perpendicular to the plane of the board here. So sigma H is the plane of the molecule, which is perpendicular to that C6 principal axis. Sigma V is something that is parallel to the principal axis. In water here, both of these are sigma Vs. They are parallel to our principal axis. Uh, in ethene, we have the plane of the molecule, which is, which is perpendicular to our C2. And then we have two sigma Vs, which are parallel to that axis. Then we have three sigma Vs in benzene. And then we have also the label sigma D, which is a, a mirror plane which bisects the C2s, which are perpendicular to the principal axis. But we'll see more uh, experience with this as we look more into the playlist. So you can practice seeing these types of things on Otterbein. For water, you can probably see that there is a C2 axis there that I can do the C2 operation around. 
I can also do the sigma v, sigma v prime. Um, one of them does nothing because it's the plane of the molecule. The other reflects across the bisected axis there and the rotation. Um, you can see this for pretty much any molecule you like uh, that's indicative of, of the general kind of case of what's going on. Um, let's see. This isn't this isn't ethene, but it has the exact same symmetry properties. So you can see the three C2s, the inversion center, the three mirror planes. If the inversion center will turn on for me, there it goes. Yep, so you can do all of those operations, see that practice. And even when it gets uh, much more complicated up to things like, okay, that's not going away up to benzene, which has an enormous number of symmetry operations, depending on how much uh, you have the patience and to uh, be willing to test everything that's going on there. All right, so those are our five symmetry elements, each of which is associated with the various symmetry operations which occur through those points, axes, or planes.